And Santiago Pena has won Paraguay's election, returning the conservative Colorado party to government after a tightly contested campaign that had threatened to end its seven-decade hold on power. The 44-year-old economist and former finance minister had 42.7% of the vote, with more than 99% of ballots counted. In more than 15.8, some 4.8 million of the South American country's 7.5 million people were eligible to vote in the election for the president and legislature. And to the UK, where ahead the historic coronation of King Charles III on Saturday, royal superfans are continuing to camp out on the mall as they try and bag front row seats to the procession. A number of royal supporters have erected temporary homes made of tampolin along the iconic road just over a week before the big day on May the 6th. People watching the coronation will be invited to join a chorus of millions to swear allegiance to the king and his heirs. The public pledge is one of, these, one of several striking changes to the ancient ceremony revealed on Saturday. In a coronation full of first, female clergy will play a prominent role and the king himself will pray out loud. The Christian service will also see religious leaders from other faiths have an active part for the first time. That's the word now. We'll have more updates at four. Thanks for watching.